to 1991, I saw Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson do just this same thing with yeah. Steve Berline. And you know Steve Berline. I do. I play and, with Beeline. I, I don't believe he's better than Cooper Rush, but we could argue that all day. Oh, They're you don't think Beeline different. was better than Cooper? No, no. I, I'm, I, I'm saying I, I think Cooper Rush is better than Steve Berline You do? Oh, yes. I disagree okay. with that Okay. All right. Okay. Well, go back and look at the numbers Steve Berline was putting up there, Cooper-esque yeah. numbers. But the point is... That in 1991, he got a hot hand. Troy Aikman was the first pick in the draft, and he healed his sprained knee. He was ready to go. They made the playoffs. It was a breakthrough. Nobody saw him coming. And they're going to Chicago to play Dick's Bears. And Jimmy and Jerry, the, the co-signing, said, Troy, no. I, I, we know you're completely healthy. We got to ride the hot hand. Right. It's the same thing all over again. Okay. We got to ride the hot hand. And by the way, Steve Berline won a huge game at the end of the regular season at Buddy Ryan at Philadelphia, Philadelphia against Reggie White and company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that set the table for what was about to come. OK, well, is history going to repeat where the, the second after Steve Berline shocked Ditka at Ditka, they went to Detroit and got their doors blown off yeah. by the Lions. It wasn't Barry Sanders. It was Eric Kramer. Right. But the Herman point was. Fairman. Is that going to repeat on next Sunday night? Will they get their doors blown up? Well, it's possible. I just want to see what Cooper Rush can do. Well, you I want to see if the formula works. You, so you ask him, you know, you ask him for trouble. You know, he Cooper Rush goes to Philly and beats okay. Philly. You I, it's a great problem to have. Why wouldn't I want That's what Jerry was saying when he said I'd walk all the way to New York for this problem because it's a great problem to have. You can figure this out. Is Dak the answer for the long term? I still think he is, but every time I watch Cooper Rush operate the offense, I say, God, this works yeah. because the defense is obviously, to your point, getting swaggier and swaggier. Yeah. This defense walks on the field and says, we got this even against Matt Stafford. I know his offensive line isn't even remotely what it was. And they, the, the shock to me is that they had only 38 yards rushing after Washington ran wild on Dallas. But they showed me. They bowed up. It was a manhood game for them to stop the run. And they shut it completely right. down. Well, they know if they can stop the run now, we can just pin our ears back and go get okay. Matthew Stafford. And, and they, they haven't been they able to him. run the ball all year, Skip. Okay, so the beautiful formula is that if, if you win the takeaways three to nothing, especially if you can get two quick ones, and all of a sudden it's nine to nothing because your snapper misses yeah. the, the call. He's, he's yeah, he snapped it early, yeah. Okay, it should have been ten to nothing, but whatever. But it, the, the point was, if, if you win the, the turnovers three to nothing. And you get a and, score on their possession. Yeah, and you, you got a scoop and score, and, and y y y you can still, you can let Cooper Cup get loose one time, and that that's the only thing, like, like, it should have been like a – held him to three points because – help me out. If we could see, it's nine to nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And could we see the Cooper uh, Cup play? It's it's third and two from the the 25-yard yeah. line. They're backed up to their 25. We could see this play. This is the, – the, the pride of this is just saying, oh, we're going to let Diggs have Cooper uh, Cup on the play of the game to that moment. By the way – Cooper Cup can flat fly. Yeah, he run. he, he ran him. away from Trevon Diggs. He just ran away from him. Look, look at this. Who's who's winning this? I mean, I think Cooper Rush is winning yeah, he, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The point is, he's faster than you think he is. It, yeah. And, and here's my other point. It was the only pride goeth before the fall play of the whole game where they just said, you know what? Our corner is better than your receiver. No, he's not. No, 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 he, not in that situation. Listen, Listen, Cooper Cup is going to run what he'll set. I don't even know if they keep records for this, but he's going to set the targets record oh, because yeah. when in doubt, Matt Stafford just throws it to Cooper Cup. Well, I think the thing was in that situation, um, Diggs was trying to get a play. Skip, they run a shallow cross. That route that he ran. Okay, was, but he we, had him single. They, yeah, they didn't even bracket him. But, but what he tried to do is he, what we call jetting the route, which he tries to undercut it. Okay. And see, if you remember last year, they ran the same kind of route in New England. Mm -hmm. He picked that and went to the house yeah, he, because he, he jetted it. Well, the pass is way out in front, and Cooper comes right, to right. one hand. And that's what happens. Now, you jet that route, and you miss it, or you undercut, and you miss, he's going to hit his head on the goalpost like he did. Okay. And, Skip, but remember, now, he, they hit Atwell on a deep one, and the, and the Cowboys bowed their back yep. and knocked them and made them settle for a field goal. So give the Cowboys defense credit because when that long run, you're like, okay, here come the Rams. That's the big play. The Dallas is going to be wheeling. reeling. Nah, no, we're not. We're right. just going to sack Matthew Stafford to make you set up for a long field goal. Okay, so all of a sudden it's 10 to 9. Oh, did they might have missed that field goal. Uh, um, yeah, right. It's 10 to 9 Rams, right? Yeah, yeah. after all oh, that. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that made it 10 to 9. Okay, then the answer man answers. Yeah. Cooper Rush comes right out at second and eight after they tried Zeke for two yards. I guess it's Pollard for two yards. Second and eight from the 27. 
Could we see the first answered throw that he made in the game? This one's to CD, finally. This is uh, a 16 yarder to CD Lamb. That this is when your backs are against the wall and he throws it off his back foot because they didn't protect him all that well yesterday. He had people in his well, face. Well, well, can long. you, can you, uh, your, your, your rookie, why would you let Aaron Donald go one on one with your rookie? Skill? Well, that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> they, they, hap, they let it happen twice before they fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the very next play after that, Tony Pollard gets loose. Yes. And he broke about four tackles. He right. sort of skipped out of them. Mm -hmm. And he's capable of doing that. Yes. You have to let him try. But I'm going to remind everybody who says, oh, he should play more than Zeke. If you look at what he did against Tampa and against Washington and add up those, those yards and carries, right. he had 14 carries for 14 yards combined against Tampa and Washington no. because he'll have games where he doesn't get out of the block. But you got to put it, Skip, you got to put him in space. You got to let him get ahead of steam because he, he can break tackles once he get ahead of steam. But he's not like Zeke. He's nope. not going to run through contact through the, um, in the backfield. Sometimes now, they I think did a he's great... underrated on that, but he can't do no. it like Zeke. No, no, no. And he did a great job. McGovern did a great job on Aaron Donald, cutting him off. Aaron Donald was only able to get a – and then once he hits that sec, once he hits the second level skill, yep. now it's a foot race. He breaks a tackle, makes a guy miss, and yep. good luck catching him. Okay. And then as they pull away 19-10 to 10 with a field goal on that drive, could I show you Cooper Rush to Michael Gallup? This is a third and 16 play at their yeah, 31. Yeah, third and 16 at their 31. This is where I say, wait a second. Maybe this guy's better than you think he is. This is Cooper Rush to Michael Gallup for 27 yards. This is third and 16, and he throws it right up the boundary. Right, so and, and okay, th this is sweet. Th this is timing. This is rapport. Yeah. And it's Michael Gallup, who's pretty good. You, you don't think he's great, but, no. but I'm but he, happy but, he's but, back. But more, he make more routine plays like that. Yep. That's especially back shoulder. He can make the tough catches. Like I said, I, I, it's not like, oh, he's a must-have. Yep. But uh, that throw right there, that was a big-time throw. That was a big-time catch because the DB was in great position. And third and 16, I mean, hey. And then he's got a third and four after this. I won't show it to you, but he has a third and four and hits CD for nine, which sets up the 19-10 to 10 field goal. And now I'm breathing easier because it doesn't look like Matt Stafford can score another point, no. which he couldn't score, no. right? Skip, I, 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 I felt that once the game got to 19, I didn't really feel I didn't I didn't feel that the Rams could really threaten anymore because at that point in time now the defense is starting to feel themselves. They're like, oh, y'all can't do anything with us. Y'all can't run the football. We're not even thinking about the run. We're not even thinking about Henderson. We're not thinking about Acres. All we see is nine, and we're coming to get him. Okay. And they came to get him. And they came and, and got him. And by it. the way, the back seven is pretty good, and it's getting better because yeah. they are three deep at safety. Malik Hooker got the, yeah, the interception, they, obviously. And Diggs is playing at a high, high level. Yeah. I know he tried to jet that, and, and he gambled and he, <laughs> he lost. Did. That's going to happen. And that's all they got the whole game. They got a 75-yard breakaway. Right. And, right? The, and the long one, the, the Atwell, where yep. uh, Diggs just opens up on him yep. and just lets him run by him. I don't know if that's the right I'm call not, not with somebody sure that, that kind was. of speed. Okay, now allow me to show you two throws that Cooper Rush made that don't count in the stats because they were both dropped. And the first one, they're both third down plays. It's third and two. <clears throat> at the Dallas 45, this is 11-12 left in the second quarter, and he throws it to Gallup, and he gets hit as he's throwing, but he, he hits him right in the hands, and I don't know what Gallup was thinking. I, I don't know. The ball came out a little wobbly because he was falling away as he threw it, but, but you got to catch it, I man. think he thought he was closer to the sideline because watch what he does, Skip. It's like he's trying to toe-tap. Yeah. You yeah. see? You, like he was toe-tapping too soon. Right, okay. right. You got right. more room than he thought okay. he had. And this one's even worse, and this will be your favorite play of the whole game because this is third and five at the Dallas 46, 12-46 left in the fourth quarter. This is to CD. This is third and five. This was a big play in the game. He gets hit, and he hits him right in the hands. And this is just a cough gag yeah. drop. There's too many of these, Skip, for, okay. for CD to be the guy that you want him to be. He has too many of these. Okay. Th this was th That's a game-ending kind of play where, where you're going to just go with it. Yeah. You're, you're going to go down and get more points. Right. And it's just going to be over. And all of a sudden, we're still teetering a little bit. It's still a little bit of a game. But in the end, if we could see the last Micah sack fumble, it, it's just Micah came in. With his groin was bothering him. I guess he was over on the bike, wincing mm -hmm. with it, and and I don't know how much it hurt him, but but this is just that's just beastly to me. Yeah. Well, Henderson, that that's that's on Henderson. I mean, they need to do a better job of okay, okay, are you helping me inside? Are you helping me outside? Because Henderson kind of like and see now it's Michael does a great job of getting on the edge. He did. 
dipping up under him? He did. It was a Von Miller special. He got some dip going, and he got some some yep. leverage underneath him. Yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, it's over. And I just hope that Micah's groin is going to hold up for next Sunday night. But I'm assuming if he got if he came back in, you should be okay. Well, the thing is, Skip, he's not going to practice. He'll get an opportunity to rest it all I agree. week. I and agree. And then the A. If you're going to hurt this growing, you damn sure not going to hurt it in practice. You're going to hurt it in the game against the Eagles. So rest up, ice up, get as much treatment as you possibly can, and get ready to go. I'm a little more concerned about Demarcus Lawrence because he banged his head, and they took him out, and I, they didn't say he's in concussion protocol, but I'm pretty sure it was a concussive issue. Okay. And I, I he didn't, didn't, I didn't go back that. in. I didn't see that. He didn't go back in. So I don't know what's going on with him. But in the end, Cooper Rush did exactly what he needed. I know the stats look pathetic, Pedestrian. but, but they, they don't matter because <laughs> all that matters is you're four and zero. Yep. You're five and zero oh as a starting quarterback. And I believe that yesterday because of the groin injury and because it was a national TV game right here on Fox, I believe Micah edged out to the lead in defensive player of the year off the end of that game well, because I, that was impressive. Well, I think the thing is because Bosa, Nick Bosa was leading the he, league in sacks and he, he tweaked his groin and he, he did, missed and the he rest of the game. couldn't go. Right. I think he was gone pretty early But in you know, game. Skip, guys that, that we're not getting a whole lot of talking about for defensive player of the year is Von Miller because he's resurrected that Buffalo Bills oh, defense. I, I and it. every time well, you It seems turn, like he resurrects everywhere he goes. <laughs> he does. He, does, he yeah. does. And the Rams are missing him. Yes. And I thought it was brilliant that they, they finally split Aaron Donald out. And I told you going into the game, he had played 262 snaps against the Cowboys in five games and had one sack. And all of a sudden, they put him out on Tyler Smith, and he's going, boom, boom. And I thought, uh-oh, he's going to wreck the game. But I'm asking – I was asking, why are you letting him go one-on-one with Tyler Smith? Well, you I, better I put were, a tight end over there and slide the protection. I, I think they were shocked that they split him out, which they do on occasion, yeah, but not do. that often. Not yeah. that often. But anytime yeah. I see Aaron Donald's not going one on one against anybody. No, no, not off the edge. <laughs> you know what? They they should use him more like that. Seriously, they will. I mean, Ooh. but you have to understand that normally those tackles, left tackles, are, are they're your best offensive lineman in the pass rush. So I kind of want Aaron Donald going against guards, or I put him against a weak tackle. But Aaron Donald said, "Oh, that's a rookie. Ain't no way he know all Ain't the sets. No way. <laughs> yeah." <laughs> Cowboys like, okay, we better get a tight end over there. Woo. But he was going to wreck the game if y'all didn't. Cooper Rush should start at Philly. He's going to well, start. One more time. One more time. Oh, no, he's going to start more than one. drama in Dallas kicks up this trouble, week Skip, because you know that. I love Dak trouble. is okay. supposed to start throwing <laughs> okay, this week trouble. in practice. <laughs> okay. be very interesting to see yes. what he looks like. All right, still to come this morning. What's Skip and Shannon's take on that roughing the call passer oh, that halted the Falcons comeback against Tom Some Brady food. and the Bucks? I was some time with you, babe. Oh, I thought that you was mine, little babe. You make me feel so alive, little babe. And now I know that you ain't mine, little babe. Oh, I've been wasting lots of time, yeah, I did. Yeah, I thought that you was mine, but you changed. Now I cannot spend the time on you, babe. But the way you talk in my game, okay? Yeah, you said it was my heart that you saved it. Now you switch up on 